protests and speech and thought on this issue. They've tried to cancel anyone speaking out over the genocide, and that's again a reason that I've decided to stand. But beyond that, because of my profession, I know that they've betrayed our public services thoroughly and truly. Our public sector, our public sector workers, they're really suffering. The NHS that I work in is beyond stretch right now, and I, it's not really an exaggeration at all to say that people are suffering and dying waiting for care. It's not an exaggeration to say that. They betrayed the climate emergency and the young people that had hopes for a, you know, a solution to this. And they've presided over the biggest rise in inequality that I've seen in my kind of political life. And now Labour are likely to be the next government. And they're promising more of the same. Never-ending austerity, continued management of the NHS's woes without actually any significant investment, putting big business before planet, no plan at all for social housing or our communities, no plan to fund local government and local <coughs> services. So the reason I'm standing is I wanted to give people in Edgbaston a choice at the voting booth against the status quo, an option to vote for change. The values that I'm standing on are peace and justice in Palestine, the protection of democratic, humanitarian and international norms. I'm standing for social and economic justice at home as well. I want significant investment in our NHS. I want the staff of the NHS to be listened to on pay and on working conditions. I want all public sector staff to be listened to. I want our public sector to be preserved, our public services to be protected. I want a reduction in inequality. I want more fairness. I want an end to austerity. I want us to have more urgently needed social housing. And I want our government and our politicians to rebuild our communities. I want rejuvenation of local communities. And I want government and politics to serve the planet to prioritize net zero and then absolute zero. I want them to mitigate the climate emergency. I want politics to be about decency and dignity for all, including immigrants, refugees, and refugees. The beauty of the independent approach is that the citizens of a constituency, they can inform and update the approach any politician takes. Unlike mainstream parties, I don't have any party interests, any donor interests, or any media interests backing me or my campaign or driving me forward. My power will come from, if there is you know, a, a successful election, my power will come from the people. So this election is a vital opportunity for you to register your frustration at the mainstream parties and the status quo. It's your opportunity to vote for change. It's your opportunity to vote independent. However, the question I have for you is, how can I help you? How can this movement help you? What can we do together? And for that, I want to talk to all of you, and I'll hope you talk with me uh, to help me take my platform forward. Thank you.